All right, we're back and we got everything open for Pips Perler here. Again, another uh, FW190 pilot. So again, we have his uh, insert here that goes on the base. We got the base itself, of course. Uh, plenty of decals. Uh, we got his card as well. So again, he'll set you back 130 points here. Gives you a little bit of his history. And of course, on the other side, we get his stats. So of course, you know, pilot skill five. Got a signature trait there, and then there's two really cool ace skills, which we'll get to in a second. Um, being a FW190A, we've already covered the um, the two plane traits in our uh, auto kittle video, so by all means, check that out there. Um, just rapid roll and re uh, robust, um, you know, pretty common there. Um, the FW190 itself, of course, again, a three, a two, and an eight with a 408 mile speed there. Uh, plane itself is plastic, and I forgot to mention that in the uh, video with Kittle, um, just because some of the 190s that we've already gotten were metal. Here they decided to go with plastic for the aces, uh, which um, just makes me wonder why we couldn't have just done plastic for any and all of the planes here. Um, uh, I certainly wouldn't mind paying a little bit more just to have them all in plastic and not have to deal with any of the extra uh, base things that um, you have to do for uh, the metals, basically. Um, so minor gripe, but... Um, something that could potentially be redone down the road. Um, so his skill, uh, Tactical Wizard, um, so we see uh, play it during deployment. When rolling to determine starting advantage, all aircraft in his element add plus two to the roll, which is just really um, sneaky and really cool there. And then I Know Your Type is another awesome ability. Um, so in reaction to an enemy playing within nine inches, playing a trait card, and simply the trait card has no effect, which is just wow. So... Um, you know, that can be, um, uh, certainly if played at the right time and it's like a crucial card that they're trying to play and just being able to shut that off is, um, absolutely, uh, uh, strong there. So, um, yeah, uh, just being able to say, Oh, nope, it's not going to happen. Um, uh, is, is just really cool. So, um, certainly something, uh, to make, uh, make a case for uh, trying to run uh, Pips uh, Perler here uh, in your force um, just for those two really cool abilities. Um, the first one, just being able to um, set yourself up for an advantage, um, pun intended there, at the beginning of the game. And then, um, you know, keeping that sort of ace in your sleeve um, uh, to uh, shut off one of your opponent's cards at the right time is uh, just absolutely awesome. So, um yeah, so uh, Pip's definitely worth something to consider, um, uh, especially if you're running uh, him with uh, you know, more F1, FW190s and stuff. Really strong ace, um, really cool stuff there. Um, uh, and so he's more of a utility ace, too. So, I mean, his abilities certainly are worthwhile, but he doesn't have anything, as we've seen here, to necessarily, um, you know, uh, buff up his attack or strictly his uh, defensive flying. So something to consider there, but um, certainly the... Um, the overall benefits of his two ace skills there are certainly crucial. And, um, you know, it'd be him being a, you know, a pilot skill five, you know, the ace and all that and flying the 190, um, certainly strong on its own. So, um, but uh, just keep that in mind that, you know, um, in comparison to some of the other aces we've looked at, he doesn't have any other cards to enhance necessarily. Again, his actual shooting or um, like defensive flying and stuff like that. So just, um, keep that in mind um so he's not certainly not indestructible or anything but um you definitely want to get use of his ace skills so uh pips priller there um for the germans uh, another fw 190 ace and again for blood red skies uh if you guys could uh, uh leave us with a like on the video and a subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you guys with more blood red skies content